Hi, my name is Tamara Klauser and I'm a yoga teacher at Adler Terme in Bagno Vignoni. Today I'm going to show you a short yoga sequence designed to help you lengthen your spine so as to alleviate any issues and pains you may have in your back. Back pain is one of the most widespread health complaints. Many people suffer from it, especially in the lower back. Today I'll show you some poses that can help you alleviate your back pain. One important recommendation, if you suffered any trauma or suffer from hernia or protrusions, always consult your doctor before doing these exercises. Now before you start, it's a good idea to warm up a little. Three sun or moon salutation will be great. Just make sure your body is warm. Two blocks might come in handy for the first pose if you're not very flexible. Bear in mind that we are all much stiffer in the early morning, so you can use two cork blocks, which are going to position roughly as far apart as your shoulders. You can adjust them as necessary. If you have foam rubber blocks, those two are perfect for the job. Position your feet as far apart as your hips and take a long breath. If you know the Ujjayi breath, that's great. Support your lower back area by gently drawing in your abdomen. On breathing in, stretch upwards. And on breathing out, bend forward. You can rest your hands upon the blocks. If you feel your tight muscles tugging too much, feel free to bend your knees. In this case, the main purpose of the pose is not as much to stretch the thighs, but rather to engage the spine. If your flexibility allows it, run your hands down your legs to your ankles or all the way down to the ground. Synchronize your breath with your movements. On breathing in, Stretch forward while keeping your hands in position. On breathing out, slowly fold towards your legs. Again, breathe in and stretch forward. And breathing out, bring your chest to your legs. Follow your breathing. On breathing in, Stretch forward, drawing your abdomen in. Breathe out and fold towards your legs. On your next inhale, stretch forward and if you had your hands on the blocks, bring them to the ground by bending your knees as necessary. Breathe out, take a step back and bring your knees to the ground. Lower your buttocks to your heels while keeping your arms stretched forward and rest your forehead to the mat. If it's too low for you, you can always use a block. It's okay if your buttocks don't go all the way down to the heels. All you need to do now is just relax your whole spine. While in this pose, continue breathing deeply so as to give your intestines a nice massage. Now we will start a new sequence for keeping your spine nice and flexible. Breathing in, go on all fours, walking your hands back in if necessary. Arch your back, but if your lower back hurts, keep a neutral position. On breathing out, point your toes, lift up your coccyx and stretch your back. If you feel your tights tugging too hard, it's okay to bend your knees. The focus here is on your spine, not your legs. 
On breathing out, bring your knees back down, arching your back again if you can and slowly go back into child's pose. You can either keep your arms stretched forward or bring them to the sides. While holding this pose, breathe deeply to massage your intestine and promote its function. On your next inhale, bring your hands forward and breathe out. Breathing in, go on all fours and arch your back if your lower back is fine. Otherwise, keep your spine in a neutral position. On your next exhale, point your toes, lift up your coccyx and stretch your whole spine. Keep your neck relaxed. If your tights hurt, you can bend your legs. The same goes if you tend to curl your back. You don't want to do that. Elongate your spine and you can bend your legs. But if your body will allow it, rest your heels down to the ground. On your next inhale, bring your knees back down and slowly go back into child's pose. Now repeat the sequence, but make it more flowing. Breathe in, cow pose. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, cow pose. Suck your belly in. And on breathing out, back into child. Once again, breathe in, forward, and on breathing out, hips up. Breathe in and control your descent, holding your belly, and on breathing out, lower your buttocks to your heels. One last time, move forward as you breathe in, and breathing out, lift your hips. On your next inhale, slowly go back down on your knees and breathing out back into child's pose. Go back on all fours, keeping your wrists aligned with your shoulders. Don't rotate your elbows outwards, it should face your legs so as to stabilize your arms properly. Draw in your navel. Stretch your right leg backwards and lift it up as high as your hips. Feel your right gluteus tighten as you do so. When you have found your stability, lift your left arm as well, keeping your eyes to the mat. Continue breathing deeply, never stop breathing. Breathing out, bring your hand and knee back to the ground. Draw your abdomen back in if it was relaxed and on breathing in, stretch your left leg backwards and lift it up. Keeping your foot perpendicular to the ground and find your balance, lifting up your right arm as well. This will strengthen your back muscle. Exhale and bring your hand and knee back down. Keep your knees slightly apart and your hands aligned with your shoulders. Draw your belly in, breathe in and 
and I'm breathing out, go into cat pose. On breathing in, reverse your pose into cow. Breathing out, go into cat. Pushing your chin towards your chest. On breathing in, back into cow. Remember, if your neck hurts, don't lift your chin up. Keep it lower. Again, breathing out, cat with your belly in. And breathing in, arch your back. Breathe out, cat. Breathe in, cow. One last time, cat on exhaling. Cow on inhaling. And back to a neutral position. This time we won't be engaging the lower back as before. When you could feel it work, but rather the top half of the spine. Keep your knees aligned with your hips and walk your hands forward. What you're trying to do here is reach down with your chest. If it won't reach as far down, what you can do is place one of the blocks under your chest. Rest your forehead on the mat and if it won't reach that far down, rest it onto the second block. If on the contrary, your body allows it, you can rest either your forehead or chin to the ground. The chin gives you a very intense workout for your neck. Now this is important if you feel your arms go numb, try spreading them out a little. If that doesn't work, release the pose immediately. On your next inhale, rise slowly, push the blocks away if you've been using them and go back into child's pose to curl the spine for a while. Keep your knees close together so your torso won't drop down between the legs. Again, reach forward with your hands beyond your head, palms down, and you're now going to massage all the nerves along the spine. Starting from the child's pose, push your chin towards your chest, curl your spine, push your weight forward, and slowly go down. If you suffer from lumbar hernia, protrusions, or pain, Keep your coccyx in this position and lift your gaze ahead. If your back is healthy, push your hips down, trying not to collapse your neck between your shoulders and push up with your hands, feeling the strength in your shoulders. If your neck is healthy, look upwards. Then drop your chin and push your body backwards, curling up your spine. Repeat, on inhaling, spine curled and chin to your chest. Slowly lower your coccyx, open up your sternum and throat, look upwards. And again, chin tucked in, back curled upwards. Keep it up, breathe deeply. You can do this as fast or as slow as you like, based on how you feel. 
Focus on every segment of your spine, enjoying the flow. One last time, rise forward and back. Relax your back for a moment in child's pose. Bring your hands to the sides of your knees and uncurl the spine upwards. Now sit down with your legs stretched in front of you. If this position is challenging for you and you feel like you need to prop yourself with your arms behind you, just bend your knees, that's going to help. While inhaling, lift up your arms and on exhaling, bend forward to lengthen your spine. You can either hold your feet or rest your hands on the ground. If you can stretch your legs completely, you can do so and go as low as you can reach. Try not to stiffen your neck. Lower your shoulders, feeling the shoulder blades draw closer together and only go as low as your body allows you to. Slowly melt into the pose. Breathe deeply, your abdomen always drawn in. As you lengthen your spine, lumbar muscles and legs, you are also massaging your intestine. On your next inhale, rise again and on exhaling bring down your arms placing them 30 centimeters behind your back, your fingers facing forward so as to strengthen your wrists as well. Bend your knees, keeping your fingers as far apart as your hips, belly drawn in, rotate your shoulders outwards and on inhaling lift up your hips. If your neck is fine, tilt your head backwards. Otherwise, keep your chin in a neutral position. Push your hips upwards. Feel your buttocks contract. Keep your soles flat on the ground. Breathing out, chin to chest and slowly lower your hips. This pose is very intense on the shoulders so if you feel a stinging sensation in your shoulders you might want to release the pose sooner. Keep your spine nice and straight, bring your knees to your chest, lift your feet and find your balance. Try in your belly and contract your pelvic floor. Lift your feet further up, moving your knees away from your chest. Careful not to tilt your spine backwards, which would stress the lumbar area. Keep your spine straight. You can place two fingers at the back of your knees for support or just keep your hands to the sides of your legs. This position strengthens the abdominal muscles and the hip flexors. With a strong abdomen comes a healthier back. On exhaling, bring your feet back down. Now sit down comfortably with your legs crossed. If you feel any discomfort in your hips or lumbar area, you can place a block or a meditation cushion under your buttocks, which props you higher and can alleviate lumbar pain. Feel your spine stretched your abdomen still drawn in. Rotate your coccyx slightly to the mat, block or cushion. 
place your left hand on your right knee and your right hand behind you. If it can't go as far as down as the mat, you can use the second block for support. Start twisting your spine slowly, taking great care not to do this movement quickly or abruptly. It won't do any good. Go slowly, involving the neck if you like to by looking over your shoulders. Breathe deeply, trying to keep your navel slightly tucked in. Breathing out, release the pose. Breathing in, place your right hand on your left knee and slowly twist, this time to the left side. You might find that one side is easier than the other. This means that you're not well aligned and that the muscles on one side of your body are slightly longer than on the other side. Breathing out, release the pose and rest both hands on your knees. Breathing in, bend forward, opening up through the sternum and drawing your shoulder blades close together. Breathing out, curl up your spine and tuck your chin in against your chest. And again, on inhaling, open up through the heart. And on exhaling, open up your shoulder blades. Keep it up. One last time, forward and on exhaling backwards. Spine back to straight and centered and let the back of your hands rest on your knees. Close your eyes and resume your natural breathing. You can relax your abdomen now. Observe what this short practice did for you. Remember that you can hold each pose for as long as you want based on how you feel and how much time you can afford. There will be days when you do fine in some poses and less so in others and those you'll have to avoid. The same goes for the twisting poses too. Namaste.